Hello. The game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I have a tricky rack. It's a long way from a bingo. I've got a good scoring tile in the Z, but I haven't got any good Z plays. In particular, I can't see a play which uses the V and the Z. So I've got Zit, Zitty and Tiz on my rack, but that's about it. So I can play Zit and Boy. Do I have anything better? I've got Blitz. I can't see a way of playing the V with the Z. And actually, I think Tiz is better than Zit because Zit allows an E and an I to go after it. Tiz only takes a Z. My O, I don't have an O, so I can't play in column six, putting my Z on a triple letter square. Not good at all, picking up two U's with the V. So this could be worth a change. Although a play of Ulu leaving Vide may be better than changing. The board is quite tight. My L can go at the end of boy. So I could play evil in column 10, but that's keeping two U's. And I think I need to play off at least two of U, U and V. Well, as the board as it stands, I can't see anything particularly good. I guess I could play Zulu across from the Z, 13 points, that would be better than changing, I think. I can't think of any floaters which would enable me to get rid of U, U and V. Just wondering if there are any words beginning U, V, U, L. Possibly. Wow, great play by my opponent, 68 points. He takes a, a good lead. He blocks Zulu. Now, should I change? Just looking at the floaters in Archites. I could play Eluvia. For about 11 points, but that's keeping the U. I think I'm going to change. And I'll get rid of the I as well to keep a preponderance of consonants and because there are available vowels, vowels on the board. Yeah, and I pick up a whole bunch of vowels. So it's good that I didn't retain more when I change but this isn't a great rack I do have the wife score I thought I might have had Iliad but I don't as a bingo now do I have a play in column 8 down onto this E I've got the LY and ILY ending But I can't see a bingo with this rack. I certainly want to sort out the vowel consonant balance, split up the duplicate I's and play off the Y. So I could play Iliad across here. Which stops my opponent from benefiting from this triple word square. 31 points is a good score. I am wrecking the rack, but it wasn't fabulous. Not good at all. Horrible rack. And it's going to be tricky to sort out, and I'm behind. Probably not bad enough to change. 
I note that I've got the S, so I could pluralize Egypt. I'm just wondering if I've got a play down here, especially one placing my V on this double letter square. Vigas, I think I have. Keeping CX, that's probably a good score. 39 points. What else do I have? Well, I have Vex, V-E-X, through this E, for 26. And that keeps the S. Twenty six points, or about twelve more. I think this is probably a better play. Quite good. Can't see a bingo. I suspect there are some eights with this rack. A gasseries would be a nine. I've got cages where I was considering Vigas last go for 35 points. But that just keeps two vowels. It would be nice to do something better than that. Now, if I played Arga, I'd be keeping CEIS, which is quite good. Vex takes a T for future reference. Just wondering if I have a bingo through this L. Well, that's been blocked. Great, only 17 points for my opponent. They've got a good lead, but they're not zooming away. So, what should I do? Cages is looking quite attractive. Still one blank to come. I can't see anywhere to play Ag or Arga. K is worth zero. And this doesn't offer too much for my opponent. He's not going to score massively playing from this C, a four letter word. 35 points. Not great. I've got a, I've got a couple of scoring tiles. But it's going to be a struggle to leave the to leave the rack in good shape my W could go in between these two A's but I can't see a good way of using that I've got craw in row A but my opponent may well take that 27 points I could play Wade down here, but that keeps two R's. I could play Bride. I think Bride's better, it leaves a more balanced rack. 27 for my opponent. Not quite a weight, and I can't play a where. Okay, I can't see any good way of playing underneath cafe. So this is what I was thinking of. Bride for 24. Through an N, I might have throwing. Can't see anything with the available floaters. I'm 30 points behind. I could now play Awa underneath Cafe for 27 points, exactly where my opponent has played. Well, I can play the same tiles here for 35 points. Yep, that looks fine. Picking up two O's, not good. I'm 20 points behind. Gore takes an S. 
and a D and a P. And I have a pretty rubbish rat. But the board's fairly rubbish. There's quite a lot of bingo lanes, but very few spots for non-bingos. I may, may well be using... Wow, nice bingo my, by my opponent. He's now got a 110-point lead. And I've got a horrible rack. So, how to sort it out. He's provided nothing for me. I could play Hobo. For not many points. I could play right O, providing a lot of floaters, keeping just the O. But again, not scoring very much. Soiling takes an S, but it's not available for seven letter plays. Quite a grim situation I'm in here. Just wondering if I can play down a six letter play beginning with I or O. Can't see such a play. And do I have a play ending with the Z? Yes, I do. Well, that sorts out the vowel constant balance. Not a great score. I'm creating a new bingo lane, which is good since I'm behind. Not a great rack leave. But I'm creating a hotspot in row H for a five-letter play, and I've got an H for going on that double-letter square if my opponent doesn't take it. And if he does, he'll be creating several more bingo lanes. Great, I have quites. Don't think there's anywhere for that on the board at the moment. I thought for a moment I had it in column 14 and I don't. Requites on onto RE. What else can I do with my Q? 32 points for my opponent. He's not provided. Ah, oh, I th almost thought I had quites across here because ETH is good, RT isn't. So where is best for my H, I was my Q rather. I was wondering if I had something with the Q on this triple letter square, but I can't see a six with this rack. Twelve minutes on my clock. I've got suck on my rack. Can't see anywhere great for that. This is quite a quite an awkward rack. I could play Quinn. Twenty three points, keeping G H S T. This rack feels like there's something something better I can do. Well, I'm struggling to see it. Now, I don't have to play the Q off because I've got the U. But there's nowhere really hot for my H to play. And one advantage of playing Quinn is, a, is that I'm creating additional bingo lanes. I don't really like keeping four consonants. So, what am I missing? J 
just looking at dull to see if I've got anything down from any of the tiles onto a, any of the letters onto a double letter square. Can't see anything, can't see a way of placing my cue on this triple letter square running across. Well, I'm going to go back to Quinn and I run the risk of having a very vowel dry rack. Well, I escaped that fate, but this isn't a great rack. I've got a U for going after under the Q, but I can't see a way, I can't see a five letter play. Except for quats, but I don't think that scores enough to justify playing the S. 26 for my opponent. Now, do I have a five-letter play beginning with H? I think I do. I have Hapus. For 57, which is quite good. That looks promising. I don't think there's a seven here. Through an S, I would have Eulogist. Out glide, not good, otherwise that would play in column one. And I've drawn another U. But this will be this is the final one, so I won't, won't see any more. I have no scoring tiles, I'm sixty points behind. The board's fairly open. Now I could play quilt from down from the queue. I would also have Augliest through an S as well as an anagram of Eulogist. Still the blank to come. My U could go in front of PO, so I may have a play whoops in column one. I have glutei as a six. I'm wondering about gule, G-U-L-E-T, that would that would play down here. I think that's good. Thirty six points, nice score. The S that I've just played was the last. Well, my opponent's gone in that spot. 40 points, a nice score. So, do I play Quilt? Keeping EGO. Only nine tiles left, so I'm really looking for a bingo now. I'm 100 points behind. Let me check the vowel situation. Five vowels out of 16, not many. So, therefore, Quilt keeping two vowels is good and it's keeping the E, which is good. Not a particularly bingo, bingo-y rack leave. But I like the points, 28. And, well, just three vowels left now. To an L, I would have Gardi Lou. There is an L. But is Gardi Lou spelt with an E or a Y? I think it's a Y. So I don't think I do have it. I think even a bingo may not be enough in this game. If my opponent just keeps scoring and there's a lot of scoring tiles out there, F, M, V and Y. Column one is a good bingo lane ending on this D. Great, my opponent hasn't got a massive score, but he's played off four tiles. There's only one in the bag. So if I am going to bingo, I have to play off just one tile. That won't score very much. My opponent will be over 100 ahead, and even a column one bingo won't be enough. So... Where do I play? I still think playing off one tile is best. And it does need to be an O. 
So where can I play an O? I O and of Ubu. Just wondering if I ought to be creating a new a new bingo lane. Probably not because I'm I have no way of winning this game, even with the best bingo. I'm reliant on my opponent making a massive mistake. So I think it would be foolish to open a new bingo lane. So I'm just going to play off the O somewhere which doesn't close down an existing bingo lane. Seven points. Not good. Just, well, I thought for a moment I had dog-eared, but my A would need to be an E. So I don't have a bingo with this rack. And I've had no bingos all game, which is frustrating. Oraged, not good. So I can see what my opponent's got. Not a particularly great rack, but a winning rack. I really only got the floating B and D for a bingo. And I can't see anything with with either. Now my D can go after Apo. My opponent may struggle to go out in one. He's got double NY and he's got Bonnie. And that might be his only out, so I, I probably ought to block that. And the easiest way of doing that is probably a play just running on from the car, from running on from car. So what about car goad? Well, I may not be able to go out in one myself. So is there something, something better? I don't think cardage is good. What about a play beginning Apo? Can't see anything. And what about a play running underneath here? Well, I can't see anything particularly good. So I think I will play Cargoed. I do need to block my opponents out. That leaves me with A-R-A. -A. So I can play Tara. Do I have an, a second out? Six minutes on my clock. Well, I don't, but my priority is blocking my opponents out. Now, have I done that? Is there somewhere else for him to play double N, Y? I don't think so. So I'm looking around for somewhere else to play, to, to go out. I've seen Tara. I don't, actually, I don't think my opponent can, can block Tara. So I think I'm fairly fairly safe with that one out. Six points for my opponent. I can get eight for Tara. I don't think he's provided anything for me to score more. Just wondering about Riata, but I don't have that. So just wait for my opponent to formally end the game which he does, and the final score, 348 to me, 431 to my opponent, a winning margin of 83 points, so well done to my opponent. Let's see what I missed.
It was my opponent to go first. That looks pretty good. He's got a ton of bingos there. Hmm. Yep, he does. He doesn't play any of them. This is my rack. Dits for 30. Wow, that was the play. And still I played Tiz for 28. So not a huge difference between them, but I think Dits slightly better. Now my opponent does bingo with a great rack and a nice, nice bingo. And this was my rack, and I changed here. And keeping two U's is pretty awful. Possibly valued for 20 better than changing. But I don't think changing is a bad move. My opponent's rack, he plays Egypt. And this was my rack. I played Iliad for 31. Alid was available down in column 8 for 11 more points, but keeping a duplicate eye, probably better, but not 11 points better. My opponent's rack plays Kai, horrible rack, and yeah, I played Vex for 26, and I was thinking of Vegas for 39, but I think Vex is better. The rack leave is more robust, or more, more bingo-y rather. My opponent's rack, he plays Yup, and I play Cages for 35, and I think that's better than Akai's. Akai's has a consonant, but not a good consonant. She's not particularly great. My opponent plays Cafe. This was my rack. Nothing great on offer here. Scores are fairly low, and the rack leaves are poor. So what did I do? I played Bride for 24. Yeah, that's fine. My opponent plays Or, And I play Gore. I could play Gath in the same spot, but I think Gore is better. GW, not a good pair to keep. And that was heaven for my opponent because he has Soiling for 85. At this point, the game is slipping away from me. I'm 110 points behind, and I have got a non bingo -y rat. I played Trues for 22 which is a very mediocre score and not a great rack leave, but still, it looks the best of a bad bunch. My opponent plays Dole, and now I have quites, and I don't, I don't think I have anywhere to play it. Great, I didn't miss a spot. I played Quinn for 23 after a lot of pausing, looking for a better play, but there wasn't anything particularly better available. G14, playing... She, she and in might have been better, but G and U, not a bingoy pair of tails to keep. My opponent plays Moniron, and I have Hapus, which gave me a small amount of hope, drew me back to within a bingo of my opponent, but my opponent is then able to get 40 points himself, and now I don't think I do have a bingo. I, I play Quilt, keeping two vowels because the bag is low in vowels, so I like that. My opponent has the blank at this stage, doesn't have a bingo, scores 18, and now I'm 90 points behind, there's only one tile in the bag. I don't have a bingo on my rack. What did I do? I played... IO, which isn't going to feature in a list here, because I wanted to minimise my losing spread, and I thought the best way of doing that was to go out with a bingo. My opponent plays Vims, and I don't have a bingo, but now my priority is to stop my opponent going out in one, which Cargoed achieves, and Red and Ed don't achieve, so I think Cargoed was the play. My opponent, as you can see, doesn't have an out. He plays only. And finally, Tara is the out I saw and was the best out, but there was also Arbor through the B. So a strange game. I very rarely have a game with no bingos. Usually when they happen, it's because I've missed a bingo, but that wasn't the case with this game. It was just a game where the tiles I picked never matured into, into a bingo on my rack. And if you don't bingo... It's very unlikely that uh, you're going to 
win the game so games like this just happen but i hope you enjoyed watching that and got something out of it and i will see you next time